Well, as we know, the Eurofighter Typhoon update has recently came out, and there has been so many people so surprised about it, and there has been really questionable opinions about it, whether it's actually good or bad. And I'm gonna tell you this straight away, the Eurofighter Typhoon might even be better than the F-35, and it's no joke, the amount of how much damage it actually does compared to the F-35 in some cases is actually insane, and today I'll be showing you guys a 1v1 video between the F-45 Lightning and, of course, the Eurofighter Typhoon, so make sure to stick right until the end. Alright, so getting right inside of the game, first off, the test I'm going to be conducting, of course, is going to see how many shots both of these planes can uh, tank from the Exhausted Sniper. As always, we are going to be starting with the F-35 to see a damage to the belly, which is just a little test I'm gonna do over here. Alright, so, from what I currently see, the F-35 roughly tanks around 10 shots, from what I can at least estimate as of this current moment, because it did 10% from one hit. So let me shoot it four times, and let's take a look the health over here yeah it seems to be going down slowly i would say it's around 60 percent off of the eye bat we're gonna just have to see by shooting it more these are seven shots now and i'm actually confused and i feel like it's a that's a possibility it might even tank up to 11 shots so let's go for the eighth the ninth and of course the 10th shot and it's probably going to die on the 11th i hope if it dies on the 12th Oh my god, it can tank 12 shots from the Exhausted Sniper. Okay, the health on the F-45 is actually just all out OP. Okay, so now moving into the Eurofighter, I will be shooting it in exactly the same position. Let's see how much one Exhausted Sniper shot is actually gonna do to it. It's gonna be, in fact, left at 88 uh, percent, which already shows to me that its health might actually be really good, because the F-35, I believe it has 1,200 health, I believe. So, if this tanks up to 8 shots from the Exhausted Sniper after me, me already, I already fired 4. So let's go for the 5th, for the 6th, and the 7th shot, and I believe it's gonna be able to tank up to 8 shots, and since the Exhausted Sniper does exactly 100 damage, this uh, plane probably has around 100, 800 health. So, from how it looks, the F-45 is probably going to be winning the health category by an absolute mile. But anyway, the next category we're gonna move into will actually surprise you. So moving into the next category, we are going to be having speed. As you guys can see on the official website right now, uh, the F-45 can go up to 331 miles per hour, but since the Typhoon is not on the website yet, I cannot tell you guys that, so I would actually have to get right inside of this jet and check out the maximum speed. What I'm going to be doing to make sure that the speed test is fully accurate is I'm going to get as high in the air, take the gears off, and I'll be going in a straight line. Let's see the test and the Typhoon will be able to go to 330 slash 331 miles per hour as the maximum speed, meaning that it has exactly the same max speed as the F-35, which makes it the second fastest, in fact, it actually makes it the first fastest plane in the whole entire game, which is actually a huge surprise, because, man, just a Eurofighter freaking being able to have so much speed is freaking insane compared to the F-35. Anyway, let's just move into the next category. This one is going to be a draw. Alright, so moving into the next category, I will be testing how much one missile damage will be doing to the F-35. So let's go and have a look. I'm first going to be shooting one missile, and then I will be shooting the rest to see how many it takes in order to actually kill it. So my friend is now going to be firing one missile, and let's see how much the F-45 is going to be left at. And that is going to be exactly 80%. And now I'm just going to wait for him to actually fire the rest of his shots. And we're going to see on how much damage uh, it's actually going to do and how many shots it's going to take in order to kill it. So here it is. The five shots, the five rest of the shots are being fired now. And let's see how many shots it's exactly taking. It will take six shots in order to also destroy an F-35. Okay, so moving into the next vehicle, I am going to be seeing how much four missiles from the Typhoon is going to do to the F-35. And in fact, will it be able to kill the F-35? Because it will be a very interesting test to see if it will be able to actually kill it with all four of its shots. Apparently, these missiles are absolutely OP according to what people have been saying. So let's actually see how true that is. And we're going to fire one. And it's leaving the F-45 at exactly 70%, so it's doing 10% more than one missile from the F-45, which already makes the single uh, missile damage about 10% higher. So let's see. 
Jeez, man, after seeing this, the F-45 dies to four shots from the freaking Typhoon, man. The Typhoon does about 10% more per shot, which already makes it reasonably the best dogfighter in the game in terms of its usage of missiles. I really do love where this is going so far. Alright, you guys already know the drill. I am going to be seeing how long it takes for the Typhoon to destroy the mouse with just its normal gun. So let's take a look and get inside of the mouse and see how long it's actually going to take. So let's begin the timer now and I am gonna be telling you guys the final time on how long it actually took in order to destroy it so here we are let's see it all right so let's actually have a look at the final time it's gonna be around 23 seconds Alright, so having a look at how long it's gonna take with the F-45, this is also gonna be an interesting one, but I really hope that the F-45 is gonna win this category, because really, it wouldn't make sense if it doesn't win this right now. So anyway, the F-45 is gonna fall down and take off its gears, and let's actually begin the fire upon the mouse. So what I can already see from how this is going right now, the DPS seems to be just about slightly slower than what we have for the Typhoon, and this could probably be because the Typhoon is more of anti-armor bullets. So let's actually see how long this is gonna take. So seeing the final time, it is probably gonna be looking at around 24 seconds, which is actually absolutely insane. Oh yeah, by the way, I would like to give a huge shout out to my friend who has been helping out in this video and I'm going to be promoting his faction as kind of a reward for this and guys, make sure to go ahead and join his faction if you'd like to apply, I will be leaving a Discord link down in the description down below. His faction is in fact quite high level and he's currently recruiting new members so helping him out would definitely be great and since his faction is high level, you guys would definitely find yourself an easier way to grind as well. In the last and final category which we're going to be testing is first we're going to be seeing how much two of the anti-ground missiles that are actually going to do to the mouse by of course hitting them both to the mouse and then we'll also see if the air lock-ons will also be able to do some good damage to the mouse or will its armor just be this powerful to the point that uh, it just won't, will be able to easily tank it. So anyway let's wait for my friend to actually start shooting and two of these shots are going to be leaving the mouse at 49% and now he will also be shooting four of the anti-air missiles which I believe are also going to be doing around 7% once he fires each and every one of them. So let's go and have a look at this. Let's see it. So yeah, it looks that every single one does around six to seven percent which is actually pretty bad but again it is our only lock on missiles anyway again moving into the f-45 one lock on missile will be able to do 21 percent so of course logically assuming it will be able to kill the mouse with all of its five to six shots yep that's correct well, really, I gotta say that this category is actually quite difficult to design, but personally, I will be going with the F-35 in terms of the power of the missiles, simply by the fact that they are more versatile and you could actually lock onto both. However, of course, one missile of the Typhoon does do more damage, which is something we also have to take into consideration. But again, there is way less of them. So personally, I believe the missile winner is going to be the F-35 in terms of dealing with ground vehicles. Anyway, it's really actually hard to decide who's the overall winner of this video. Personally, I will be in the first time of the history of me doing a pay to win vehicle versus a free to play vehicle. I believe this one to be a draw simply by the fact that the Typhoon can probably outplay the F-45 with the power of its missiles in the sky. Meanwhile, of course, the F-45 will be better at dealing with stuff that's on the ground, such as, of course, uh, tanks and maybe people on the ground because of the bombs. But bombs are really not as versatile in today's day except the fact you could I guess spam uh, veto and just use the bombs but that's not really a useful strategy against tanks but yeah for today's video this is actually gonna be a draw and let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the typhoon are you gonna use it it gotta be one of the best planes in the game definitely a draw for the f-45 and huge respect for the devs to filling in the gap